What's happening, fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today, we're back to the expanse. We're in season three on episode six, Immolation. My understanding is that this episode represents the end of book three. If you're following along for the books, this is where book three ends. There's some pretty significant events that occur here that really um, mark it off. So we will know for sure at the end of this episode if we're really done with book three. 100% there's no way to miss it. Um, in the last episode, all hell broke loose around IO with uh, Admiral Nguyen and uh, Souther making a power play for control of the Agatha King, uh, the, the flagship of the Jupiter fleet is my understanding. And tons and tons of Mars and UN ships are kind of in a standoff. And the Mars, the Mars um, main captain of one of their ships, I guess the first one on the scene, is uh, showing some discretion and not firing and letting basically the UN fleet destroy itself. I, that's really all I can see that's happening here. And um, in, the, in the books, like I've mentioned, we never got anything like this type of direct first person perspective of these power plays. They were always just basically numbers on a report to Avasarala or, um, yeah, basically we were seeing them from afar, very, very afar with a huge time delay. And it's really cool to see all of this stuff play out real time with the personal drama and politics involved. And, uh, yeah, um, I did not expect there to be quite so much bloodshed on the bridge but a lot of people are getting hurt in this little uh, mutiny slash coup attempt that's going down um so i'm thinking we probably resolve most of that stuff this episode but the only way to find out is to dive in and here we go if you'd like to see full-length versions of this episode and all of our other shows, they're available on our Patreon. The link is below. The first episode of every season is available for free to watch on our Patreon. Thank you. This should be a one hell of an episode, almost like a season finale. Yeah, we're no longer showing Tycho Station at all. It's just removed from the intro. It's now the Naboo. The new center of power in the belt. Our own ships firing on one another? What the fuck is going on out there? Yeah. It's Aaron Wright's. Oh shit, I forgot about the proto launch. Yeah. The launcher is reloading. Oh, damn. Oh, and there's, they're using up their ammo. How many of these damn things have they created? Feels like that's way too many. That would be mine. The cities. Yes, it's nearly impossible to stop. They'll kill thousands. And contaminate everything with proto molecule. Mars could become another Eros. Everyone get inside! Ooh. Brutal. I think it's premature to hand over all your work when we still have options. Do we? Options. Oh, does he have some of those in reserve? The assault team is on the far side of the station. Most of the systems are powered down. It's going to take time for them to reach us. Time to do what? To get to our ships and launch. Why wouldn't they just shoot us down? We'll tell them we have children on board. We can do this, but we have to go now. Man, this guy, 
He is. All right. Just the worst. Get on the radio. Oh, interesting. This is probably Katoa. Ah, oh, geez. They're going to use him against our team. Okay. Square watermelons. Got it. Take cover first and shoot! Ah, good. Give him some lessons, Amos. You got to count! Oh! And they're all down. <laughs> I love it. She is so efficient. That ship was hit with a hybrid pod. Oh, damn. Yeah, be on it. The proto molecule is spreading incredibly fast. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. Jar's on that ship. That sucks. And he's in zero G locked into the med bay. Oh, yeah. That guy is already proto molecule infected. Jeez. How come they got you in a restraint? What? Yep, oh, you're God, done God. already. Don't do that shit. Well, what is this shit? Let me loose. I'll help you. Tell me first. You're done already. It's too late. It's called proto molecule. It's bad. Just tell me. Mm hmm. At least he's going to be able to get out of here, maybe. If he's not already infected himself, which he very well could be. Do something else. Uh-oh. Now we get Katoa. It's a hybrid. Fall back to the rocks. No, the kids are down that way. Go get them. You can't. I'll lead it away. Go. Oh, boy. I don't know if I like that very much. Ooh. Hi. Bobby, don't be an idiot. This won't bring no back No idea your how this goes. Now, for the first time in your life, please just shut the fuck up. Gonna lead it on a chase. Uh, hmm. You stole my word from the Agatha King? No, sir, I'm sorry. We lost track of the missiles as they left Io. Stealth. They may have some kind of stealth yeah. tech. Stealth tech. He knows where they're going. Sort of. Poor Anna. This part of her story was not in the books, and it's so hard for her. If you're here to apologize, I honestly don't give a shit anymore. I am apologize not. for what? I want to refresh your memory. The words you said all those years ago. Just another protest. You said. Do you remember? Mm. But all those people who died for what we believed, I never imagined they would only be the first in a long line for you. Oh, please, Anna, for God's sake, let the past... Die? No, you're right. I want to be done with the past, too. Mm. Brief. Martian Defense Minister... Oh. ...fatal heart attack earlier this evening. Okay. She... Okay. I... I... Totally forgot about that message going to her. Wow. Oh, she's got a rear view camera. <laughs> nice. Jetpack, 
baby. He's recovering pretty nicely, but it seems like he's not fully developed. Maybe they can actually take him. Let me go ask. <laughs> he's gonna ask nicely. <laughs> I'm sure. What are you doing? Bringing the razor back down from orbit. Why? Oh. Because I'm gonna fly it up to the Ack of the King. I'm gonna find a way to stop those pots. Ooh. Alex, you look can't at do you. It alone. Keep an eye on our people. I will. It's just all oh, all those bullet holes are just healing right up. Ooh. And he's just as mobile as her. Maybe more. He's mm. gonna appear in front of her. That's not good. Sir. Let's call it an act of God. You're not even going to deny it? I meant every word I said. You just admitted to treason. Mm, get him. Got him. Put him down. Come on. Was he always like that? Like what? Spineless and weak. Dignified face with nothing behind it. You're finished. He doesn't care about treason. That's just him parroting you because you talked to him last. If he spoke to a janitor, he'd be passionately declaiming about a fucking mop. Secretary Ehrenreich is under arrest for treason. Get him out of my sight. Throw him in a hole. It looks so damn smug, and it's because he knows that all those missiles already launched on Mars, and there's nothing they can do to stop him. Thank you. Gets to blame the war on Aaron Wright. She's not happy about that. Oh boy. Oh, this Come is getting. Me. Hold hands. Leave the Don't children. Leave? You'll be safer in here. Children. Right. Yep, there she is. May. May. Daddy. Mm. Well. Now what? Come on, guys. It's okay. You're safe. Come on. Don't shoot. Uh, I'm unarmed. Yeah. Ooh. James Holden. I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's you. Turn around. Neil, hands behind your head. How would you know to find me here? Go. Hmm. Move! He's prisoner now. That's interesting. Are you okay? And they hurt you? I would never have let that happen. They hurt Katoa. Bazia's son. Where is he? They did something to him, and he got blue and sick. She just doesn't understand. Shut up! Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, that. I'm glad she said that. That was nice. This is Amos. He's my best friend in the whole world. He helped me find you. Can you stay with Amos for a minute? Best okay? friend in the whole I'll world. Right back, I promise. He's gonna kill Strickland. Okay. I saved May's life. That's some she bullshit. Right there on Ganymede, but I went back for her and I got her out. Rex. <laughs> I've known May since she was a baby. She loves me. And I love her. Mm. Uh, 
No. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. Oh, shit. You know who is that guy? I am that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I am that guy! Woo! Where is Dr. Stripling? He's not coming with us. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh boy. He's not coming with us. <laughs> Man. My glasses are all fucked up. <laughs> oh, you're gonna want to find the weapon station. It's uh, it's gonna be labeled Fire Control. Hey, look out! <gasps> Who's this? You're wasting your time. Is it Nguyen? They can't be stopped. Oh Jesus! This guy. What is... What is he doing? Come on, what are you waiting for? What? What is he... What is he doing? Oh shit. They're clear of the Agatha King. Oh man. The He's infected, infected now. dangerous contagion. The only way to stop it for sure is a nuclear explosion. So I'm overloading their after core now. They gotta get out of there. Warning. Shit! We've got about ten minutes until we're a fireball. We can't leave there. We gotta knock out the rest of those pods. Alex, we're out of time. Oh. Should have let shoot you. Warning. <laughs> Reactor But failure. now he's gonna die in a nuclear explosion. So what's the difference? Reactor failure imminent. Okay, well she guess uplinked the data. Fred Johnson. He has the missiles he stole from Earth. Oh. He can destroy those pods. Okay. You want to send their transponder codes to Fred Johnson? Typo's near their flight path. He could kill a lot, maybe even all if we're lucky. And if he shoots them down wow. before they reach Mars, then the attack never happened. Interesting. Maybe a path to peace for both sides. I agree. Wow. That's putting a lot of trust in Fred. And man, Mao is not happy about that. I don't know what his plan is. And also do some good. Mmm. Well, he does owe Naomi. Quite a bit, I think. Oh man, she is beat the F up. We're gonna see anything from the Navu before the end of this season. I'm so glad they got her back. Rex deserves that. But it probably means we're gonna not have him anymore. He has no reason to be on the ship anymore. Okay. And he's still got that med implant. Man, I love the continuity. And the cancer from the... Are you? It's time. Okay, this is a planet. This is Venus. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was human skin for a second. Boy. The fuck? 
fuck is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Oh jeez, they gave us a little bit less than I thought. The the launch of something from the surface of Venus is pretty cool. Um but I think we still got a little bit left before we're fully, fully done with uh, book three. Um, maybe, maybe episode seven is really the true, true end. But uh, yeah, um, I absolutely love Amos in this episode. He's been, he's been such a good guide and help for Prax to keep him on his path and uh, early in the episode I, I said I, I said I think Amos is rubbing off on Prax a little bit too much but uh, apparently that wasn't actually true I think I think Prax has managed to get through this with his humanity intact um, and, uh, I am that guy. That's a brilliant line. I love it. You're not that guy. I am that guy. And that's 100% true. He's, he is that guy. Um, and he deserved it. Strickland so richly deserved it. And it, I, I would have been fine if Prax had taken the shot. I would have been okay with that, but I think the way it went down was indeed better for Prax's character, for his future, for Amos even, because this is, you know, it's not really a transgression of his morals and it is very much in line with the way that he presents to the world and um one more one more uh marker on his belt is not gonna do much damage to his psyche i think he has already well gone past that point where that any one person really matters so oh yeah that was that was one of the best moments in the show so far, I mean, just straight, absolutely brilliantly written. And uh, I love, I love how it went down. That was so good. Um, definitely lots of departures from how the book plot has, has progressed. We're, we're so far outside the bounds of the actual way individual storylines went that it's almost silly to even try and point them all out now. Um, because, I mean, at this point, Mao was already in prison in the books, like, a long time ago. Um, we, I don't think ever had anything like these protomolecule missiles launched anywhere um and i do like that we're tidying up all of these different storylines that needed to needed to come to a resolution fred has all these missiles um where is the protomolecule hiding uh, uh we have these these weird protomolecule missiles launched at Mars. All of those things kind of, well, not all of them, but um, the missiles and the protomolecule missiles are a neat way to foil each other and they're all, okay, they're now all out of the game, right? And uh, at this point, weirdly, it seems like only the belt as a sample of the protomolecule that they have like control of 
Earth doesn't really have it because all of Earth's stuff was Mao's stuff and Mao's stuff just got raided and destroyed. They do have maybe some data, the data cores from IO. Um, and uh, Mars doesn't have it because they were never able to, to take control of any of the projects from, um, well, I forget the secret base where the Karakum was destroyed. I forget the name of that planet or station or whatever it was. Um, so realistically, it's just Fred that has a viable sample. Um, and I don't know that Fred has intentions to do much with it now. Um, I'm hoping not. And the the events of, of Venus, when they are complete, right? This is just the sort of the beginning of the Venus major event. This launch is not the end, it's the beginning. And uh, once we have some resolution on the Venus event, things are gonna change in our system. Politics is gonna change. People's understanding of the world is gonna change. It's a very major, major thing. And uh, I'm told that as we move into the second half of season three and into the events of book three, we're gonna get a super condensed, super tight, lots of stuff chopped version of book three. And it's interesting because book three is very, very, very different from the first two. Like from the, from the aspect of how it's written and what characters we follow and how the story like reels itself out, it's quite, quite different from the first two. So it would make sense that they're gonna have to do something transformative to keep the flow of the show to something that people can recognize. Um, uh, without being terribly cryptic, essentially in book three, we don't really check in with any of these main characters very much at all. It's a, it's almost like a second set of storylines. Obviously they're still there. They, they haven't, it's not an utterly different story. It's the same world and just, they're telling different events and from a different viewpoint, but we don't check in with them as main characters terribly often. There's a whole lot of other storyline that's told. And I suspect that we're mostly gonna get those other pieces the uh, non Rasanante, non Bobby, non Avasarala. There's a, a few other characters. Uh, Doctor Reverend Doctor Anna is among those, um, where we tell a, a totally separate story for quite a lot. I want to say at least fifty percent of Book Three is told from a perspective of characters that we hadn't even met in the books up until the beginning of book three. Now we've had Dr. Anna introduced significantly earlier and with a twist to her story. In the books, she was just some random reverend from some small church. In this show, they've tied her heavily into the UNN um, Secretary General's backstory and current story. And those connections didn't exist in the book that I'm aware of. They, there was no, there was no celebrity to Dr. Anna. Um, she was just a, a working Dr. Reverend Anna, no, blah, 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 blah. Um, and she became more of a focus through her actions within the story rather than already being connected to these significant political figures. Um, so I really do enjoy that we got her a little bit early, but um, her, her pieces of this season's story have all been super sad. 
She's had all kinds of just horrific events basically blamed on her. And uh, had to deal with rotten, rotten people um, constantly. So the, the addition of this connection has really just made her character feel more sad to me. Um, I'm sure we're gonna kind of shed a little bit of that sadness and roll into the roll into the events of book three where she will obviously continue her role um, or continue to play a role, but it'll be very different, I think, than than what we got in, in this first half of season three. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was this was fun. It was I don't feel like it was a finale episode. Um, I mean, it's obviously not. It's mid season. It's um, we haven't even fully completed the episode, the uh, events of book three. So maybe next episode we'll have more of a finale feel and then we'll roll into the into book three. Um, but I do like how we've we've kind of tied off a bunch of loose ends. Um, through lots of trying and careful work, Naomi has managed to kind of rebuild the trust bridge between herself and the other members of the Rossi. I do enjoy that. I think it's good that they stay together strong. I kind of got a sense that she might be leaving for something, and I'm not quite sure why that would be. Um, very likely some other change to the storyline that I'm not familiar with. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, very much enjoying the way that things are kind of, kind of concluding almost like you would do at the end of a season. Cause they, they need to tidy things up to roll into the events of book three, basically. And so I look forward to more of that next next episode. I'm sure we're going to see it. Um, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see the rest of the Venus event um, I, that I expected. I mean, seeing this launch from Venus is a, a pretty good cliffhanger between mid-season episodes. But uh, I really want to see the, these things fully realized and how they're actually going to do it in the show because it might manifest slightly differently. I'm not sure. So, uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, um, all the likes and comments, and especially on the Patreon. So much great discussion going on over there. You guys are fantastic. Um, and, uh, Appreciate all of the likes and the subscribes and thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.